Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, call Halal Lai, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, which is Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai, all praises to the Father Yahawa, in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. Excuse me. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I got a quick lesson, a uh, lesson that I put together, a couple of precepts put together a few days ago and um, wasn't able to get around, you know, to, to do this show. You know, I did other things, which is other lessons, but, you know, now I want to uh, touch on this topic. And uh, the topic is the Lord comes first or put the Lord first, you know, because... Uh, it's a very important thing, you know, when the Lord wakes you up to this truth and you believe and you, you, you have the gift of faith. You know, once the Lord gives you that gift, the Lord is in all your thoughts every day. And when you first come in, you know, most of the time guys be a little bit overrighteous, but it's okay because you have a sincere will and spirit to do by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and you will be willing and able to do all it takes. You know, you don't want to go off. You want to hold the Sabbath as holy as possible, you know, and um, and many other things. You can't lose. Um, you don't want to lose that spirit. You don't want to lose the fact of the Lord is not in all your thoughts. Now, is the Lord in every single thought of you? doing out the day no but what it means is that the lord is constantly on your mind every day you know when you get a time you know when you're doing stuff maybe you at work you know somebody do something wicked you, hey the scripture come into mind you know that's because the lord is in all your thoughts you know you might see this person this this black woman with blonde hair you're like look at this shit that's because the lord is in all your thoughts he's in he's in your thoughts okay you know when it's, it, I said this to the brother, you know, one of the brothers. You don't want to lose the fact of, because at certain times, you know, scriptures pop in your head. That right there, you know, is, is the spirit. And when you find yourself idle or you constantly doing other things outside of the truth, and not giving your, not giving your, uh, making the truth your first love. Those scriptures don't pop in your head as frequently no more. And that's because you're falling out. You're falling away. You're becoming what? Lukewarm. And we all know what the Lord has said about being lukewarm. He will splew thee out. So that's just a, a measure checker, you know, when you're examining yourself. Because we all brothers, you know, that faithfully in his work and, and teaching his truth. You know, scriptures just pop in our heads, you know, when we see something, you know, when the Lord speaks unto us, it's the scripture pop up. That's the spirit. All right. That's the Rakhah Kodash, the Holy Spirit with you. And if you, like I said, you know, you coming into this, this mentality where, you know, you might be pushing the truth off, not making it your first love because you're doing other things in the world. When you don't have those frequent popping you don't have those those uh frequent thoughts that pop up in your head the scriptures you know anything that deals with the word that deals with your Bashim Yahweh Shai if they don't pop up in your head as frequently and you and you more in the world then you're not in the truth straight up because the truth starts in here it starts in what your mind man because it takes it's, it's an act of faith of believing okay and of course the Lord manifests it through his wonderful works, you know, to give you more faith, to give you more strength, you know, more believing in him, you know, so that what you have a full insurance of faith so that you don't waver in your, you don't waver in your faith. No seducing spirit could seduce you, you know, make you pervert, meaning go back, you know, 
you have a strong faith and that's what we pray for that's what we fast for you know is to ask the lord to have strength and strong faith and endurance you know so i'm gonna read a few precepts i'm not gonna make the lesson too long lord will but my first precept is first peter's chapter 2 verse 5 ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, now it says, ye also are lively stones, because the Israelites are lively, okay? And in particular, the elect, the prophets, that's out there teaching the word in season, out of season, speaking 100% truth in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wa Rakakwadash, okay? They are lively stones. So if you're a brother and you have this truth, you're going to be lively, meaning you're going to work. Okay? You're going to uh, move. You're not just going to be idle and still. Okay? You're going to put forth work. You're not, you're going to uh, bring forth friction, set in motion. You're going to set things in motion, you know, by doing the works. A man of the, a man of, the, the men of the Lord are lively stones Okay Just like um, for an example um, You know um, My little uh, Bracelets You know rock, You know these rocks that we wear Brothers wear out, out Israel And uh, this stone particularly here Is Sungite Alright and Sungite Is an actual lively stone That generates energy That, that generates frequency Okay and I have a tester, you know, I order, order them off online and I test them to see if it's real. And they're real, meaning when we wear these, you know, it support if the spirit is willing, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is willing, you know, it'll give us that positive energy because it draws energy, okay? It has this energy within itself, within the rock. So how much more us as prophets of the Lord, teachers, all right, priests, okay? It says... Ye also are lively stones are built up a spiritual house. And right now we know the house that's being built. That's the tabernacle of David. The house of David is being built again. See, you have these Amalekites, these uh, Jewish rats, they say, or Jewish Edomites. They, they, they're building a physical uh, temple, all right, which is most high is not talking about a, a physical building. He's talking about men that's waking back up to the truth. Men that he have elected from the very beginning. You know, that house of David. Those mighty men. Those great men. Okay? It says, are built up a spiritual house. All right? And that spiritual, that house actually, you know, is your body, man. Because you got, it starts with you first. It says, and holy priesthood. So that key word there is holy. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, requires us to be holy because he's holy. That's why when you get into the laws, the Lord is very particular. He's very precise on what it is you can do and what it is you can't do. You know, like for an example, a woman on her menstrual, her moon. You know, she's supposed to be put away into her own house, a little safe house on the side until she stopped bleeding. Because why? She's unclean. Everything that she touches makes it unclean. And yes, the Lord is that tedious because why? He is holy, pure, and, and we are too. So in this time, 2019, the men of the Lord that's woken up, we're rehearsing these righteous acts. So it says, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see? So these are spiritual sacrifices that we are uh, committing, man, okay, or that we are doing. You know, it's a spiritual sacrifice that you give up your life in this world. You know, instead of being like the world and going doing what the world do, guess what? We're rehearsing the holy days of the Lord. We just got through the, the uh, Day of Atonement, okay, where you afflict your soul. And guess what? We go out there and teach the word. That's a, a spiritual sacrifice because it starts here, okay? And you believing. That's a sacrifice. Paul said, give thou body as a sacrifice. Give thou body as a living sacrifice, all right? So it says acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's the only way to be, that's the only thing that's acceptable. 
You know, the Lord woke you up, you got to contribute to the body. Now, not everybody's a prophet, okay? Not everybody uh, uh, is a teacher. Well, you still have to contribute to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's body. And that's the act of faith. You know, you may uh, support brothers in some way, you know? That means you're supporting Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Hey, you're going to have some works. Scriptures say faith without works is dead. So you're going to have works. All right. Now, this is Ephesians chapter 4 and 28. Let him that still. It's like you. Let him that stole still no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. All right. So the key word there is labor. But it says, let him that stole still no more. All right. Because the scriptures do say, you know, uh, about tithes and offerings. If you don't give, you steal from the most high. You know, a lot of these Israelite guys, Israelite camps out there, um, they steal. You know, they don't even give uh, reverence or honor to who they learn from. And that's the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know. So anyway, it says, let him that stole still no more, but rather let him labor. You see? Because why? According to the Lord's Prayer, it tells you that we're debtless. We're in debt to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We owe the Lord, man. We owe Yahweh Shai for laying his life down. So so what's required, required of us to do? To labor. It says, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good. And what's that? Doing the works. All right. Rehearsing the holy days. Keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. That's works. It says, which is good. That he may have to give to him that needeth. Because why? All of us brothers, are, you know, are really are actually part of each other. This brother may have this talent. This brother may have another talent. This brother may have another talent. But guess what? When these brothers perfect their talents and they multiply their talents, they're given to the needy, to the brothers that's that's in need of, of, of learning the knowledge and having more understanding of the scriptures, you know? So when you learn this word, now you out there to give to those of like-minded, man. You know, those that are seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in sincerity, all right? So it's a need, it's a must thing that you put the Lord first. You know, the Lord comes first. The Lord has to be in all your thoughts. You know, he has to be in all your thoughts. Every day, you know, the spirit should hit you. Y'all got to do a show, you know. I, I want to, uh, you know, do something for the Lord. That's acceptable. Because then once you're done with your show, you feel good. You get that. Did, did what I had to do. All right, now I can go do that, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with me doing that, you know, as long as it's lawful. You know, I could go to the gym now, you know, or I could, uh, hey, go to work, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you do on your, uh, leisure time, man, your, your, your ISO time for yourself, but the Lord comes first. You feel better. So the Lord comes first. All right. This is St. John chapter four and 24. Yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So this thing is about sincerity. In order for you to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it must be what? In the spirit and in truth. You got to be spiritual. Can't be just all carnal minded, man. You got to learn how to judge things through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not by your own feelings and emotions and how you feel, how you want things to go. Scriptures say man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? All right. So I'll read again. John 4 and 24, Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. All right? Which mean the word. This is Psalms 89 and 7. Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of his saints, and to be and to be had in reverence to all them that are about him. Okay? It says the most high. Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. Now, the saints represent the Israelites. Okay, the true meaning of saints is Israelites. 
You know, saint is not someone like a, a young man helps an old lady across the street and she call him a saint. That's Esau's new speak. No, saint represents the Israelites. All right. It says the most high, Yahweh, is greatly to be feared. You're damn right, because the Lord is a dreadful power. The Lord is a terrible power, man. And the scriptures say, as Paul said, we persuade men for the, because of the terror of the Lord. So by these epistles and shows we do, it's to persuade you. Yeah, it's to persuade you in righteousness, man. You know, it's supposed to get into your conscience, your bone, the marrow, the intents of the heart. You know, it's supposed to sink down a bit in your, your conscience, man, and make you think, make you move. Because why? We're persuading men of the terror of the Lord, man. Hey, you saw what just happened out there in the Baham the uh, Bahamas, you know? But Jake, Jake, Jake's still hard-headed. That's not enough. You know, when the Lord bring it, bring his destruction, starting with Jacob's trouble, here to Babylon the Great, which is known as America, and he starts, he had his Edomites forcing the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Then you're going, hey, you're going to wish that in your liberty, you sacrificed but guess what in your liberty two-thirds they didn't sacrifice they didn't repent they didn't consider the lord's ways they pushed the lord away because they had other things to do in the world as if that was more important what you people are gonna fail to realize is that the most high is very important and one thing the lord did say he said he's a jealous god meaning he's a jealous power the lord wants to be seen the lord wants all attention on him the Lord wants to be recognized. The Most High is that dude. Okay? It says, Psalms 89 and 7, Yahweh is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence to all them that are about him. So we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Giving all praises, reverence, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You damn right. Alright? Because we fear the Lord, man. We know what the Lord can do to you, man. Alright? It's this uh it's my last precept. Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thou heart keep my commandments. Meaning your mind, not your muscle, and your chest, your mind. He says, My son, forget not my law. This is a problem with you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians today. Two-thirds of the Lord's people. That's the problem. You forgot the Lord's law. Nor do you consider to receive it, to receive it once again. Or to honor it, man. To be obedient again. Alright? It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine let down heart keep my commandments. And it's a commandment for us to go out there and prophesy. So if you're wondering why these guys go out there on the street, why these guys that do that every week? Well, we're commanded by Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He said to go on the highways and prophesy, man. You know, and, and, and also I have to say, you know, because of orders, you know, the Lord said he's not the author of confusion. And we keep order within within uh Great Millstone, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, they give us orders. And that's to do three shows. You know, minimum a week. And that's for you. That ain't for the apostles. You got guys that's carnal minded, not worshiping the Lord in spirit and truth. Because they're, you got men that was carnal minded and getting mad with the apostles about the order of doing three shows a week. That's for you. So that you can stay occupied in the truth. So that you can stay close to your how about you, was shy, man. Don't you know it? You know, the Lord is, the Lord is drawing us closer, man. Closer and closer, man. All right, so when we call on the Lord, the Lord gonna answer, man. All right, in a time of trouble. That's what certain guys don't understand. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be with the Lord, man. Paul even said it, you know, but he, he said uh, he's betwixt between the two because he'll rather, Paul was saying he'd rather be in the spirit world. He'd rather be dead in the flesh to be with the Lord. But he know there's a reason for, his, for himself to be here in the flesh because it's needful for the needy. For the hopeful elect, man. For them to get the understanding. For them to keep the fern, be fern in their faith toward Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, to endure all the way to the end. It says, for, verse 2 For length of days and long life and peace shall be added to thee. 
let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart. You see, so keeping the Lord's commandments to the best of your ability gives us what? Length of days. Okay? Long life. Well, hey, and this time, everlasting life. If you be the elect. All right, scriptures say some shall not taste of death. Okay? Some brothers are not going to taste death from their birth, from them being born. All right? From their father's loins into the incubator of their mother's womb. And that was born today, whatever age they is, some men are not going to taste of death when Yahweh Shai come, man. They're going to just be changed, man. All right? It says, for length of days and long life and peace. And that's the key thing, man. We want peace, man. That's why we praying for the kingdom, man. That's why we sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Especially here in Babylon the Great. Which is known as America You know every day You know should be a crying out man It should aggravate you It should be vexing you man You know in the city that you living in And the people Your people who you around You know the oppression and suppression That you're going through The slavery man You know knowing Knowing that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Gave us a promise for the kingdom So we should want the kingdom even more You know because the Lord comes first. It says, um, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. You see? Because if you're going wrong, you're not doing according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the order that's set up. All right? With the righteous men, the anointed men and teachers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Then guess what? You know what's going to forsake you? Mercy and truth. It's going to forsake you. Now, also in the Apocrypha, it talks about wisdom, how wisdom will sup with us, sup with you, you know, and it'll be with you in crooked ways until it can trust you, you know. The Lord can easily remove the spirit, man. He can remove the spirit just like that. And fulfilling the, the scripture where it says many are called but few are chosen. You know, that's a scary thing, man. That's a scary thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. And we see men, we got men that are scoffers today. We got men in those examples of who not to be, man. You got men that are sold out. Men that, you know, took a bag from Esau, obviously. Changing their doctrine, perverting the gospel. Teaching lies, teaching men to sin. You know, now you can have sex on the Sabbath. You know. Next they're going to be saying you can have sex on your woman with her mystery, man. Whatever, you know. But you get the picture. You know, mercy and truth will forsake you if... You're not right with your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says, um, bind them about the neck, write them upon the table in thy heart. So, I mean, you got to seal it up in there, man. You know, you got to be stubborn when wickedness comes across. You got to rebuke certain things, not letting your, letting, that, letting that door open to give yourself into the carnalness. And then eventually when you in your carnalness um, uh, mindset, you start to drift away like you were sailing on the ocean. And guess what? The land over there where you need to be, you all the way in the deep sea somewhere. And what the Lord do, he brings a tidal wave and, and sink your whole boat, man. You shipwreck. And then the Lord eats you, man. <laughs> you have a fish kill you, man. I'm just, uh, uh, you know, examples, man. Metaphorically speaking, you know. Anyway, it says, uh, verse 4, So shall thou find favor. And good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. Trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Exactly. Because if you're not doing according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and putting the Lord first, you're going to lean upon your own understanding. And Satan is there to bring you back into the world. He's there. He's, they don't, angels, the, the, the angels, Satan, the demons. The righteous angels, the you know, the evil angels the Lord created, none of them sleeps. They always working. So when they see you slipping, they on your ass, man. And they pulling like tug of war, man. You know? Feeding your flesh, giving you presents, giving you gifts. You know? You might start making a lot of money. That's that hey, we all know what money do do to a man. You know, gives a man pride. Making a lot of money, now you're going according to your own understanding. You start pushing the Lord away. 
It's crazy. You know? When riches is what? The knowledge. Okay? It says, verse 6, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So if the Lord is in all your thoughts, in all your ways, you're going to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, whatever choices you got to you gotta make, whatever uh, job you probably get. Because, right, for example, job. You know that you got to camp on the day that you camp, go to camp. So if you get a new job, you got to make sure the job is, 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 is good, is suitable around the Lord. So that you can go to camp. You can be there at a good time and get your camp in, man. You know? But if you start to, you know, push the Lord on the back burner, yeah, I'll be at camp. Now you're not showing up. Or you got an excuse, you're showing up late. You know? The most high gonna get you, man. You know, because it says, in all thy ways acknowledge him. Whatever what it is we do, man. Even dealing with a woman. You know, you deal with a woman even if she don't even know the truth. You know. You acknowledge the Lord's ways, man. You know, careful how you do. It says, and he shall direct our paths. Because if you acknowledge the Lord first, he's going to direct your path, man. You know why? Because you're going to be staying upon the mind. All right, you're going to be, your mind is going to be on the manuscript. Always. All right. It says, and he shall direct our paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord Yahweh and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord Yahweh with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So meaning the Lord requires the first fruits. Okay, the first fruits are also the elect and everything we do. You know, I remember um, years ago, brothers were, uh, when, when brothers would drink wine together, brothers to pull out the wine and give the first fruits to the Lord. The Lord requires the first fruits, okay? He wants everything off the top. The first of everything, man. It's like the elect, the first spirits he created after Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Those are his, okay? So this lesson is to uh, hopefully uh, put you in the spirit to motivate, to keep putting, putting that work in for the Lord, man. You know, don't slack. Got to examine yourself. So the Lord comes first. You know, put the Lord first, man. Because I tell you this, if the Lord is not first or he's not in all your thoughts, you're not in the truth. You can know scriptures. You can know breakdowns. All right. You can know the name, the true name of the Lord. But if the Lord is not on all your thoughts and you're not consciously doing what the Lord said to do, you're not in the truth. You're, you're, you're really gone. All right. You're not in the truth. Cause it starts up in here man believe in faith you know and fear fear in the lord so that you're obedient to do the lord's work we're in debt you know so i hope this lesson was motivation uh uh you know i hope this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakodash i want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to all the lord's hopeful elect shalom